look at the yeah, Liz like, Bennett. <laughs> we are going to play a game. Exactly. You, you want to come snog on camera or something? <laughs> Damn, Damn it. We're going to play a game now. We're okay. going to play a movie version of Would You Rather. Would You Rather? Okay. Yes. So would you rather play a superhero or a villain? God, that's a tough one. Depends on the role, but I mean, maybe a superhero. It'd be kind of fun. Do you have a top choice that you would pick? I don't know. Is James Bond a superhero? I feel like. I'm well, gonna go for it because I sort of think he kind of is. No, probably, but I think but if, shit, if you, know, you want to play James sorry. Bond, you can play James Bond. You, <laughs> yeah. can, you can say whatever you want. Okay. On <laughs> Bang. Exclusive. Yeah, yeah you, you got win. it. You heard it here first. <laughs> <laughs> would you rather do motion capture or wear a ton of prosthetics? Motion capture. Would you rather sign a thousand movie posters or spend ten minutes on a red carpet? Ten minutes on a red carpet. That's fair. That's fair. Yeah, yeah. Is it tough signing those? I always wonder when I it's watch. It's so you funny. Guys you think it's like da -da -da, easy when you get to like a certain yeah. amount. You're. It's, I, I love the way the complaints of an actor. Your hand feels like it's going to fall off. Well, the complaints <laughs> like of like so a, a movie writer. If yeah. I do enough right clicks, like my hand. Oh yeah, right. Hurts. No, it's totally. No, it totally. I don't know. It's 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 a fair comment. Yeah. <laughs> Would you rather play a character based on a pre-existing one or one created from scratch? Wow, these are really interesting <laughs> questions. It's so hard because I have something in my mind which is a I don't know if a character but a pre-existing person. So, you know, a person, well, so I guess... Both kind of count, like, you, meaning a real person or a pre-existing character, kind of like what you're playing here. <laughs> God, that's tough. These are good. Uh, I'm going to say character, just for fun. Okay. Would you rather have the opportunity to do as many takes as you'd like, or have to nail it really quick? The opportunity? Uh, probably nail it really quick. I kind of like the pressure, too. Yeah, I think, like, when, when you're feeling, you just got to do it, yeah. Would you rather work with 20 angry PAs or one angry director? One angry director. Okay, I think that's the right choice. That's my opinion. And yeah, no, no, I, Matt, I do. Matt because... said 20 angry PAs, and I'm like, I don't, I don't know. Well, because an angry director can still be a good director. That's very true. Would you 20 rather... angry PAs would just be angry people yelling at you. For, <laughs> like, what have I done? Leave me alone. Come on. I'm nice. <laughs> Would you rather stand in a super long line for one big panel or see a whole bunch of smaller panels? God, these are uh, these are how are you coming up with this? this is amazing. Uh, we, I would say I say I would say uh, um, maybe one big panel. And do you have one in mind that you would have liked to see, even if it's past? Star Wars. Yeah, I had a feeling. Yeah, that's kind of the good yeah. answer. Yeah. All right, so now for Pride and Prejudice and Zombies. What was your reaction when you heard that they wanted you for this role? Were you like, you know, maybe I'm more of a Darcy kind of guy? No, 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 I was, I, I, I was very much uh, drawn to Wickham from the get-go, if I was not to. Especially in this uh, film, because Wickham isn't the Wickham you know from other movies, and especially, I mean, it stays very faithful to the Jane Austen novel, but at the same time, there is a little more, uh, it pushes the boat a little with my character in a kind of a fun way. So I think uh, that's one to go and see for, you know, the, 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 mi the, the mix up there is kind of fun. Can you describe his personality a bit? Well, his personality is very similar. It's very, like I said, it stays faithful to the novel and mm -hmm. all the characters. Um, it's just, I think, artistic license took Seth Graham Smith <laughs> in, with Wickham in a, a bit of a new direction because of. Uh, what's going on uh, but it, it's I mean we all like when you read it it, it was uh, it was Pride and Prejudice and by the way there are a bunch of zombies as well so you know an artistic license from you or from the script from no, no from the script from the writer mm -hmm. like he took like you know because it, it is a adaptation in, in its own way um, but you know you, you still are coming to it play I'm playing George Wickham so there is that element to it um, it's one of those things where you go in and, and you you sort of do what you can do, especially when you're on set, you're around other actors, and sometimes you think you're gonna do one way, but then someone else is playing something to you and you end up doing something completely different because you are what your surroundings are. And it's sort of wonderful in these things because it's the period and the incredible sort of, uh, I mean, the costumes, the way it was uh, set up, the set direction, everything. It was uh, really, you just sort of immersed yourself in it. 
amazing. What was the atmosphere like on set while you were shooting? Did you have the flexibility to kind of play around a bit? Because, I mean, there's so many, like, extras and, like, there's fire and there's costumes and, like, you're moving locations, so I imagine you're on a tight schedule, too. Yeah, I mean, you, they're, they're, you, it's, you want to sort of stay on this one because it's so specific, the way one spoke in those days. So that you were speaking those pro or pros, it's like you want to sort of stay... I think Matt was Matt Smith is rather amazing because he's playing Parsons Collins, uh, Parson Collins, and he would just do a million different sort of fun, wacky things because his character was was a funny, he's a comic relief in a lovely way, and he just does such a great job with that. For us, playing it straight, you sort of have to. We were trying to stick with it, but the great thing was we were with just the best people, so we had the most fun on the set. Like we were all having. A, normally, sets are quite a, you know, they're quite a boring place to sit around on, you know, you don't particularly just like, you're, you're most of the time you're sitting around. So it's nice when you're with a bunch of people who become really good friends, and then that's what happened on this, it became like a big family, and we all had a great time. That's awesome. Yeah. What kind of uh, notes does Bird give you in between takes? Because like, one of the most interesting things to me about what I heard from the panel, at least, we didn't get to go see it, but was how straight everybody plays it. Is that yeah. something he has to kind of keep in check throughout the entire shoot? Yeah, we spoke a lot about it, because we said uh, with, with Wickham, you really want to play him and, and all of us we all want to play it very straight because otherwise you lose the movie's lost in an instant if you're doing a, like a wink to the audience you've got to play it straight anyway but with uh, with with Wickham uh, uh, we wanted to make him almost uh, much softer than in other ones normally he comes in quite caddish and like you know quite full of bravado and like walks around and sort of is like filled with a little sleazy charm maybe that then you sort of see there might be something else we were like let's try not to play that at all let's play him completely straight that he's honest so, so when it, you do find out you know what, as you know from the novel that Wickham is despicable um, it's even more of a shock I kind of like that because yeah. we've seen so many renditions of this whether it's the original Pride Prejudice or reading this book so I feel like you kind of need to keep that element of surprise up a little bit with that character. yeah yeah that character you do because it, and, uh, you sort of sometimes find it, it is quite easy to sort of play him as the sort of waifish character, you sort of like, you know, with a little, you know, wink in the eye and stuff like that. But I felt like this time it was just actually to really, he was actually a sweet person who was, you know, done wrong to by Darcy. And like they have this long standing feud, and you sympathize with him for, for most of the movie until suddenly you're like, ah. Yeah. You are the bad guy. <laughs> I'm psyched about this. I'm yeah. very curious yeah. to see more now. Like, I'm going to get something fresh. Yeah, yeah, no, cool. How is your costume? Because we all look at the images they've revealed so far, and it's like, oh, those girls must be so uncomfortable in those corsets. But like, even guys in that period have like layers and layers and boots and things yeah. that I imagine might be a little tough to move around in. Well, uh, you wear pants that are quite tight and show off a little more than you'd like to. But I was in my regimentals most of the time because, you know, George is in, in the army. So um, uh, I was or normally uh, in my full regimental gear, which is like the red coat jacket and, uh, you know, pants and boots. Um, it, but it's, you know, it's quite fetching the gear from back then. They, you know, they look, you know, people look quite... They're quite becoming. <laughs> How about the weaponry? Did you get to actually use anything? Yeah, I used a sword in it. Me and Sam have quite an epic sword fight, That's which like I'm really proud of it. You know, we had, we had a great time doing that sword fight because we were doing it at night. It was a night shoot, and uh, and Sam's just a great friend of mine as well. So the two of us, like, wheezing and panting in between <laughs> takes because we would do it over and over again from all different angles, and we were going at it. Like, really, like we were just trying to... Because we wanted it to be, like, whip fast. You know, you don't want to you don't want to fight and be slow. These guys are like trained killers, so you, we tried to make that like bang, 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 really cool, fun action. So, how do you shoot something like that? Are you able to choreograph the whole entire fight, oh, or yeah, do you have yeah. to break it down in pieces for stunt purposes? Well, you, you you learn it in pieces and then you put it all together. But you we're doing we were doing the whole fight all the way through, like yeah, and it's a it's a big fight, it's a long fight. Have you seen the whole film? Put I together? have, I've seen it. Ooh. Yeah. And does it meet, I, I, does it meet your expectations? It really, it's really really good. Like it's a good film. It's a fun film. Is there anything you were shooting on set that you're like, I don't know if this is going to work, that surprised you in that cut? I think everything. You, are you, and every movie you do, you always wonder. Um, and I think as soon as you don't wonder, then you're probably not doing the best job. I think you've always got to be questioning stuff and always expecting, you know, like what every possible angle. But um, this one, you know, like... like we were all having a good time making it, and sometimes that translates. So I was, I'm hoping it does translate for other people. I enjoy, I really enjoyed watching it. 
not for me in the movie, I just enjoyed watching what people are, you know, bringing their characters to life and you see it edit together, what Burr did, Burr Steer, he's just, just the wonderful director and really just fun to work with and um, really insightful and he just did a great job with it, so it looks great. And now before we have to wrap up, I am a huge The Crow fan and I got ah. pretty pumped when you were cast right, 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 and absolutely. it changed. Yeah, me too, what I happens? was so excited about it, I was so sad, we, we I had a great relationship um, with everyone, luckily that's all fine. Um, I, it's a scheduling thing because uh, you know it, like, it was just a scheduling conflict, but we were all so jazzed to do it, and I it was the, one of the hard decisions that I you know like that one can't do. And um, luckily, I that they're, they're brilliant, and I just want them to just go and make a great movie. So I'm just putting my eye out and saying I love everything about those guys. So.